Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is a game typically played in a normal fashion. No mods, no shenanigans. But what if I told you there was a way to randomize your character's abilities through a glitch in the game? Meet Art's Inheritance, also known as Art's Gacha. With the right setup, you can do some truly insane stuff with this game. No modifications needed. With this glitch, you can play through the game in New Game Plus with completely random abilities. Ryan with Dunban's moves? Sure. Shulk with Melia's abilities? Why not? In this video, we're going to be going through how to get this set up. We're going to test out some stuff. And we're also going to try out a randomized build and have some fun with it. Before we get into that, I just want to disclose this glitch was not discovered by me. Big shoutouts to TJ Blakely's video on this. Test account 8 and 192 and Hyper T7's Reddit post. I feel like this is something not really known to the general Xenoblade player, so I wanted to show this off to you guys. All right, so let's start off with how to get this glitch to work. By the way, as of this video being released, the glitch is not patched. You're gonna need a save file that's beaten the final boss. It's gonna say the words clear on it. And you're gonna need one of these three collection quests available. This NPC in Colony 9 has one of the collection quests. This NPC in Tefra Cave has a collection quest. And this other NPC in Colony 9 also has the quest. For this video, we're going to use the quest called Collection Quest 3 from Colony 9. Once you got that accepted, enter the challenge portal here next to the gem stall in Colony 9. Now head over to the No Pond Sage and select Trade Items. So for this example, we buy two Rainbow Zirconiums to complete Collection Quest 3. Now it's very important you do not leave this menu, because once you do, it shows the quest completion pop-up, and we don't want that to happen yet. Instead, head into the Attempt Trials menu, head into the Restricted section. Now basically, you can choose from any of these, but it affects how your game plays. Uh, since I was focused on using Charlotte Ryan and Shulk early, I chose this level 80 challenge. I'll get into why later. We choose this one and we enter the battle. Now you're gonna hear this sound. Once you hear that sound effect and the quest is complete, you know you've done it. Stay on this menu for at least five seconds. Once you are in this chamber, just die from the monsters. Now you're gonna notice you're no longer in the Nopon Sage area, but you're actually outside the gem stall. This also means you autosaved. We're gonna use the autosave to create our new game plus file. Return to the title screen. Now make a new game plus file based on the autosave we just created. Get through the story bits at the beginning and let's check out Shulk and Ryan's arts list. You're gonna notice it's completely empty. If that's the case, you've successfully completed the glitch. Now this is where it gets fun. How do we randomize our game now? How do we obtain these new arts? Mechanically, you wanna head into this menu and hold up or down. If you see nothing on the right here, don't worry. That's what you'll see most of the time. Now, if you see something, you can head on over to whatever ability you want to replace with it, press up or down, and then apply that new ability to that slot. Earlier, I mentioned doing the level 80 challenge. Let's say you do the level 99 challenge instead. When you get Charlotte, you'll notice her arts list isn't empty, so you wouldn't be able to do this glitch on her like this, but you could do it on a party member with an empty arts list, and then switch over to her, and then replace any of her abilities. Something to also note is if you level your AP on a character, they learn new arts and you'll be unable to do the glitch on them. So keep your eye on that. On high level characters though, I didn't really run into problems with that. Now, what triggers these abilities to show up? Short answer, only Zanza knows, brother. This truly is random from what I've discovered. There hasn't been a single method I've done that has been successful on getting a skill to show up more than twice in a row. Run around this rock three times, alley-oop. Press X, go to Arts. Uh, leave the menu, head to Quest Log, peruse it for a bit, go back to Arts. And there it is! Purge! I would love for someone to decode this and find what does what. Depending on where you are on the map, depending on what you're doing, depending on what you collect, it, it alters what you get, I think. It's fucking weird. As you can see, trying to get the exact skill you want might drive you insane. But that's gotcha, baby. When you get an ability that isn't yours, you do not get any new animations. Instead, you use the animations you already have. And depending on which one, you could do a move that was previously a single hit move into a multi-hit move and vice versa. Your damage multipliers are also different. However, you cannot make a single target move an AOA move. That doesn't change. Now you might be thinking, will this break the game? Will any of my characters mess up? 
The only instance I found of something breaking was trying to catch abilities on the first version of Fiora. She has limited animations, and when you try to do a move that's not hers, most of the time she just freezes. Aside from that, I haven't found anything game breaking, but just keep in mind that there might be a small risk. Wait, no, I pressed flee. Oh no, I pressed flee. No, Shulk! Shulk, kill the guy! <laughs> but if anything goes wrong, the worst thing that will happen is your new game plus file from that autosave will be whack, but your other files will be fine. So let's check out some arts I gadget on Shulk and Ryan my first time around. So Ryan has activate Monado. Riki is angry, because you know Riki is angry. Gun drones. Purge. Obviously Mad Taunt. Double wind. That replaced Lariat, I believe. Aura burst. Turn strike. And shadow edge. Or uh, sorry, shadow eye. So that's Ryan's abilities right now. Very cool. Typical. Let's check out Shulk. Shulk has Lacerate. Double Wind as well. Healy Counter. Summon Flare. Here's Monado. Flee! Flee is an ability now. Hey, why would you use <laughs> literally anything else when you got the Flee button? <laughs> I don't know what I did to summon the Flee button, but it's here. We have Spirit Breath, uh, Shadow Eye, that replaced- I know you can have Shadow Eye on him, but that replaced, like, another move. And Aura Bullet. Thing is, we gotta get rid of Gun Drones. So when you get an ability like Gun Drones, or Activate Monado, it's cool to have it there, it's funny to look at, but you can't actually use them. I'm assuming it's because you don't have the required weapon, so the game won't let you use it, unfortunately. So we gotta replace these two abilities on Ryan. So we're gonna RNG for these two abilities? Shadow Stitch? Okay, that's a new ability. Here are some moments of us discovering and testing out some randomized arts. Let me try using Summon Fire. Okay, Riki's angry. All right, let's buff ourselves And use Aura Burst. Bro, this shit's crazy. All right, what if I use, um... Wait, so I can flee, right? Good luck, everyone. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try on an enemy. Wait, was that a... Wait, sorry, what was the animation for flee? I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna go <laughs> now you fucked up! Uh, no! Now you fucked up! I changed... Now you fucked up! You have fucked up now! It doesn't do damage. It doesn't- it, the animation is there, it doesn't do damage. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. I, I don't even leave the fight! Alright, we're just gonna use double wit. <laughs> As you can see, it's an AoE animation that, uh... <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, we got Buster? Oh, dude. Okay, that's a big W. That's a big W. That is fucking insane. What animation does it use? This will be a breeze. Don't get careless, guys. This should be that one. All right. This is the moment of truth. Assuming what our theory is on these characters being able to be randomized, when we look into Charla's art list right here, it should be empty. So let's find out. Let's go! Perfect. Oh, number six is... Dive so bad? Hypnosis? What is this? What the fuck is dive so bad? One heal bullet coming right up. Agility down? We tried to gacha for Buster and Charla, since it's already good with her quick animations and can be spanned infinitely. However, after hours of trying, we had no luck. Either way, we decided to test out some abilities on Rotbart. <laughs> yeah! And that's pretty much the gist of our adventures here with randomized abilities. I implore you guys to try this out for yourself. Find out some cool stuff, discover things, and test out these crazy arts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. If you guys want more in-depth knowledge, 
or explanations on this, please check TJ Blakely's video out in the description. That's going to explain it better than I did. If you enjoyed the content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. We're close to 10K, I think. And I think that'd be a cool thing to hit. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.